Good morning. Welcome to Friday. Good morning. Welcome to Friday. Rainy day Friday. I see some of my friends are signing on. That's amazing. I'm so glad you're deciding to join me. It's not like it's a day that you want to be outside in the rain. My hair is still a little wet. I have to go out every morning whether I want to or not. I'm a dog owner. <laughs> so out I go every morning. All right. So folks are, are uh, logging on. Welcome. This is, uh, so we're giving this a new name. Uh, really, it's just another 11 o'clock class as we as we go across our, uh, our Bright Spot uh, Fitness. We want to add this class all the way across uh, the board at 11 o'clock. Um, Nazia teaches on Wednesday and I teach on Friday. And then you've got our beautiful Lily, uh, not that Nazia is not beautiful, on uh, Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So what we're gonna call this is functional uh, movement using a chair. So Nazia and I will both have a chair present with us. Uh, and, and I've seen actually Lily throw the chair out there once in a while. So hello, Jacqueline, thank you for joining. It's always nice to have more people as I dance alone in my living room, uh, hoping that you're enjoying that same fun of dancing alone uh, wherever you enjoy this uh, class. All right. So we're just checking the time. Ooh, my phone keeps turning up. We got about a minute to go. Um, remember, if you like it, subscribe. If you really like it, share. That's always an amazing thing to do as well. Um, and uh, hopefully I won't repeat my accident on Monday, on Wednesday, which is where I actually managed to knock my entire glass of water over. So as a punishment, I have no water today, but you should have water. You should have a chair. You should have put shoes on if you want or not. You're welcome to do this in your stocking feet. You're welcome to do it barefoot. Make yourself whatever you want most comfortable. I'm never gonna have bare feet because I don't have pretty feet like my friend Nazia does. Uh, I have old feet that are cracked and don't look that good. All right, so I have 11 o'clock on, on my uh, phone, which means that it's time to get busy and start having some fun. So let's get uh, going again. Welcome, my name is Beverly Stevenson. I work for the YMCA of Greater Toronto. Um, I, I'm supervisor of Advanced Aquatics. My first passion actually is Aquafit, <laughs> uh, but I also love working with older adults. That is definitely, uh, has always been an ongoing passion. Um, I used to oversee a program called Building Better Bones, which was for people with osteoporosis. And I kind of realized that some of them reached out to me, they've been watching these classes, that I'm the same age they were when they started joining this program 20 odd years ago. I've also taught arthritis Aquafit, uh, chair fitness, lots of chair fitness and things like that. So uh, it is a passion of mine. So I really appreciate y'all joining me. I hope you have a great time and I hope you're having a really good day so far. And this next 30 minutes makes your day even better. All right. Music? Yes. Chair? Yes. Glasses off. Have a seat. Sit up nice and tall and proud. Show me those big breaths in. Let's go. In. And out. In and out. In and out. Let's roll those shoulders up, up, all the way around. Use the elbows as your lead. Turn that down just a bit. Feel like I'm fighting with the music. Two more. Last one, breathe in and out. Big breath in, big breath out. In and out. Single arm, single leg. Up, up, up. Reach as far as you can. You can take it all the way up. Go for the all the way up. You can also just do a modified movement right to the front. Pick and do what you feel is good. Remember, we're just warming up. We're not trying to peek out our cardio yet. Four, two, three, two, and one. Good job. Show me those big breaths in and out. 
Hopefully what happens with each time we do these breathing exercises, you're taking more air in each time. Kind of opening the lungs up, getting them ready to breathe a little harder through the exercise process. Wonderful. We're opening up to the side. Out, out. And again, you can modify down to this. You can modify to this. Or you can be doing a really strong arm movement to the side. My grandmother used to say, pick your poison. Four more. Three. Two. And nice job. Nice job. Start rolling the hands, marching the legs. Swing those arms around. Roll. So again, roll here. Roll here. This is about as high as I'd like you to get. Rubbers. Now you can see I'm going to slow it down. And I'm going for the big sway. Big sway. Push it out. Push it out. Push it out. Sweet. Rotate, rotate your whole upper back. Our hips are in place, and that's good. We don't really want to twist the spine. So the chair anchors our hips for us, which is very nice. This allows us to roll through our shoulders and our upper back. You're noticing my elbow is high above my shoulder. Four, three, two, and one. Pause, give it to me forward. Anybody that's a front crawler, enjoy this. This is what we get kids doing on the deck. One arm after the other, a front crawl. I miss my pool. Reach. Think about pulling back. Think about pulling back. Elbows high. Clear the hand through the water. I know you didn't come for swimming lessons. You came for exercise. Three, two, and one, good job, let's start marching. So we wanna feel nice and warmed up. Let's work a little harder with the legs to get them up to the same warmth as our arms. Keep the arms swinging. Four, three, two, show me the nice taps forward and back. Forward, forward, and back. Now you are staying on toe, stay on toe, okay? We're not bringing our foot flat, we're actually staying on toe, on toe. Makes it just that little bit harder. Calf muscles are engaged. Pushing with the arm. You can feel those hamstrings and those quads warming up as we're doing this one. Four. Three. Two. We're going to go to the heels, but our heels we're going to take to the side. So toes up, heels to the side. I'm not sure if you can see that. You make one little adjustment. Keep going side to side. Just want to make one little adjustment so that you can see my heels. Heels. That's it. And let's go with the arms out to the side. Nice. Back straight. Arms out. And again, you can be doing this like this. You can be doing it like this. Or again, you can be doing the really strong movements with each one. Nice. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. So now you should feel a little bit of like warm up in your ankles there. Awesome. So we're going to move to the front of the chair, which means that if you're sitting in your chair, you're right here, right at the edge of your chair. Right okay. now, if you're feeling like you'd like to, by all means, stand up and do the same thing. We're going to do is we're going to reach for the ankles, reaching for the ankles, and it looks like this. Good back is straight, it is not a curled over, it is an open chest, reaching for that ankle, open chest, reaching for the ankle. All right, four, 
three, two, take it to doubles. Double here. And do give me the full extension. Don't just do this. Give me the up, down, up, down. Now, if you don't want to, you don't have to put it down, but I want to see you go as close to the floor as you can. You can almost do like a light tap and bring it back. Light tap and bring it back. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Good. Now we're going to switch it to knees. Knees, knees, knees. Try and bring the hands underneath if you can. Now you can also just do like the hand can stay on the leg that's down to give a little support to bring that knee up. You can do it one hand, one hand under the knee. And then if you want, you can do two hands, keeping them close to the knee, or you can do the big sweep, the big sweep, the big sweep. All of us should be sitting up nice and tall. Keep that breathing going, keep that breathing. Two more singles and then show me the doubles. Double. Nice. Now remember, I want that pretty much that full range of motion. I mean, I think this is actually almost harder to hold it up for two. I'd rather see the full movement. Yes, you're welcome. And if you're finding this is maybe too much, then you do the singles and you rest. You do a single rest, single rest. Well, the rest of us can continue with the double if we choose to. Four more of the doubles, please. Three. All right, we're gonna mash them up. We're gonna mash them together. You ready? What we're gonna do is we'll march it out here. We're gonna be doing four single heels, four single knees, four double heels, four double knees. Are you ready? Starting with the heels. Four, three, two. Knees right here, please. Four. Three, two, heels double. Oh, I think I missed a knee. Double, double knee. Oh, I definitely missed the double, a knee back there. I messed up, which means we'll have to simply do it again. Single, singles, ankle, ankle, ankle. Show me the knee. Single, single. Double ankle, please. Double knee, right here, right here. Give me double knee. And because you're doing so well, let's mash it up again. Four of them. Four, three, two, switch sides. Four, three, two, knees here, pump for four. Two more, switch sides. Four, three, Two, show me the double. Show me double knees. Single, single knees. Good job, all right. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna march and we're gonna do a little bit of skipping and then we're gonna get up out of the chair. So we're kind of raising our heart rate as high as we can get it with our skipping. Now skipping can be done with one leg at a time. Skipping like this, that's absolutely fine. Or you can do the double, the double. Now to make the skip work, you've got to push, push through the feet, push, 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 push. Now who wants to challenge arms? I'm turning my arms like a regular person skipping. We can take it to the challenge arms. Challenge arms look like this. Nice. Four, three, two, keep the legs going, change the arms. So even if you're here, I want you turning the arms back, turn the arms back. If you're doing the challenge arms, same idea, turn the arms back. 
push, 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 push. Shoulder blades are tight, tummy's tight. Push, 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 push. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Hopefully you felt that. So let's take it to a nice little dancing march. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do eight slow, 16 fast. Eight slow, 16 fast. So eight, seven, six, three, two, speed. Now this one, you can do this if you want. So you can do this or you can do this. Your choice, your choice. Three, two, one. Give me the slow. Turn the arms back, back, back. Nice. Four, three, two, quick. You're really jumping on those toes. For four, three, two, slow at eight, seven, six, three, two. All right, show me the salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, I call it. Salt and pepper. Hold it, hold it. Right over the top, right over the top. Peak, peak, peak. Peak, four, three, two, one. Good job. Up, 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 up. Woo. Now, hopefully, you're feeling that right here in your legs, a little bit in your arms from all that turning, and that's going to lead us naturally into our up and down squats. So, we're going to do some nice up and down squats. Again, we're looking at using the edge of the chair. And remember, when we want to do our squats in the chair, Hands can be here, and we can go up. Hands can be here, and we can go up. Hands can be here, we can go up. And the challenge here, of course, is the hands are here, and we go all the way up. But what we want to remember always is counterbalance the head forward and press through the leg. All right? Great. Let's get ready to do some nice squats. In position, go. Eight. Seven. Push those hips all the way up. Give a little stretch to allow those hips that we work so hard with the skipping. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do more of a functional fitness where we're going to step to the side and step back in, step to the side and step back in. So what it looks like is Taking that leg out, step up, step together, step down, bring that leg in, out. Now the secret is you got to step all the way back into that chair so that you can make that movement to the other side. Up, down, bring it in. Up. Again, use the head to bring you up and to bring you back, out. So this is the movement we need to get in and out of our cars. So this is very functional. I could line up a bunch of chairs and we could pretend like we're on the airplanes and trying to make our way across the seats in the airplane. That's always a challenge too. Up. We're gonna do one more on each side and then we're gonna combo this together. So the combo looks like this. We're gonna do four squats. One, two, three, four. Ready? All together, hands where you want them. I'm going for up and over the head. Four squats right here. Land the feet. Let's go. Four. Three. Two. Last one. We're stepping up to the side. We're going to step it out. Go. Out. Up. In. Down. Up. Out. In. Yeah. Now you can modify this to as small as this. That's fine. I'm kind of showing you the most exaggerated one. I haven't forgotten we're coming back to the squats. Don't you think I forget that? Squat four, three, two. Take it out left and right, please. Out, up, in, down, up, out. In, down, out, up, 
in, down, up, out. Four squats, please. Four squats, nice and center. Four, three, two. Changing it up. We're going four this way. Four this way. We're going out, up, in. Leave that leg out. Leave that leg out. Push up. Bring it back down. Push up. Bring it back down. Last one, please. Push it out. Step into it. Bring them together. Step to the side. Push up. Go back. Leave it wide. Push up. Go back. Leave it wide. Push up. Go back. Push. Awesome. Back to center. Four squats. This time, we're going to pulse. We're not going to, we're going to try not to land. This is the big, big finish for the squat workout, okay? Here we go. Four. Three. Two. By all means, sit down if you want to. Awesome. Here we go. We're taking it out to the side. Watch it. Four. Three, two, one. Awesome. Bring it in. Take it out. Are you ready? Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Awesome. I hope your legs are burning because that's what it should be. Lots of work around the hips. Lots of uh, building of that nice bone mass because we're just pulling like crazy on it. All right, we're going to use the chair. We're going to do some uh, exercises in the chair. All right, so we're standing nice and tall. We've got a good position on the uh, on the feet. Remember, every time we transfer weight onto the one leg, we don't want to see the hip shift. We want to see that nice straight hip, all right? So keep it in straight. Really what we're doing today is a little bit of ballet. So we're going to bring it up and in. Up and in. And again, this might look like this for some people. And that's really what I want. I want that hip open. And I want you pushing forward, okay? If you can manage it, you're bringing it all the way up. Two more. And last one. Good job. Taking it to the side. Out. In. Out. In, out, in, out, in. Adding on, out, in, out, in. And again, this might look like this for some of you, but other ones you're taking it out and you're bringing it right back in. Out and right back in. Holding that chair for balance, keeping that nice. Let's see, see two more. Two more. All right, good job. I'm going to turn my chair around, and as my very clever friend Nazi has said, you guys can just walk around your chair and get on the other side because you don't need to worry about it. All right, so here we are again, nice and tall, holding that position. We're going to the front. We're opening, and we're coming back. Lifting and coming back. Lift and come back. You saw me just make an adjustment? I was too far from the chair. I had set myself up too far from the chair. Up and in. Up and in. And again, it can be as small as this. I'm just looking for you to rotate out and build that strength. Four. Three. Two. One. Love it. Taking it out to the side. Again, out and in for four. If you want to go to the next level, come with me. We're going out, in, out, in. And you can go out and in, and out and in. Your choice. Hold it tall. Tummy's tight. Bring it in and across. Bring it in and across. That's it. Beautiful. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Feel those hips again. It's all about the hips today. We're going to work really hard on that. So what I'm doing now is I'm moving my chair up here and I'm bringing my water bottles. That's what I might use for weights or the cans. I might use those for weights. I'm actually putting them down on the edge of the chair somewhere where I can put them down and pick them up 
um, fairly quickly. Because that's the idea is we're actually going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand. Stand a little bit shoulder width apart. And what I want you to think about doing is pivoting forward like a yoga person. Tummy tight. Knees are soft. Shoulder Reach down. Holding up to your arms. Stand up. Come down. Extend this forward. Now. Stand up. Don't tell me you don't do this all the time. We bend over slightly and we lift something up. So we're going to bend over purpo with purpose and know what we're doing. So we're bending, holding our core, taking our weight, bringing them up, standing up, bending forward, putting something in the drawer. Up. Go. Forward. Down. Up. So it's a modified deadlift is the best description I would give if somebody says what kind of exercise is it. It's a bit of a modified deadlift. Again, it focuses on the core. It focuses on you being very aware of how you have to secure your core, your core anytime you are forward in flexion. So anytime you bend forward, you need to have that tight belly button and those strong shoulder blades. Good. Down. One more. All right, we're gonna put these down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually turn my chair because we're gonna do a set of flies. Same idea is we're coming forward. So we've got that nice wide stance. I want you to come forward. Now, modify, put your hand on the chair, take the can and lift it to the side. This is the modify. If you would like to try and do the sort of upper level, you're forward, tummy tight, head up, you're lifting both of them. So let's go. We're going to make sure that we count together with our friends that might be doing it with the one arm. Three, four to switching arms. Three, two. All right. If you've been doing doubles, you take a rest. Our friends are going to put their other hand down, get their other can ready. Here we go. We're going eight more to the side. Eight. Four. Three. Two. One, standing back up tall, nicely done. Always good to do that extra body work for the upper body. It just means that we've got that nice, strong uh, upper body because, and so women, we don't tend to exercise our upper body enough. All right, we're going to turn the chair. I'm turning it to the side. You guys are going to sit down. We're going to be doing our abdominals. We're going to be doing our core. Again, you can grab a couple of weights if you want to. You want to sit at the edge of the chair. Now, to make this a challenge, you're going to cross your legs. All right? Holding these, sitting up nice and tall, we're going to go back. And come forward. Take your back and come forward. Now, really focus on using that core. you got to adjust a little bit of weight, and we bring it forward. And it's funny because we've added maybe about two and a bit pounds by adding these water bottles, but you can feel how much harder that makes this exercise by just adding that little bit of uh, weight. All right, who's ready to take it to the next level? Here we go. You can continue to do the rock if you want. You're going to bring these out wide of the body and bring it forward in. So what we're doing is adding a little flow force to our abdominal workout. We're flowing back with the arms and coming forward. Back. I hope you're seeing that my head is staying in line with my shoulders. Well, look and see. That's the idea is I want my head to be in line with my shoulders. Let me see two more, because if there's two more, you can always do two more. Always do two more. Awesome. All right, let's do a quick, uh, let's do a quick turn of my chair. We want to do the obliques. We want to try and do the side, so we're going to sit nice and tall. Again, take the legs forward and cross them. That kind of eliminates them from helping us. Down we go. 
head up to the side head up over and up nice and tall keep that head balanced over the shoulders resist the urge to do this over over you guys are killing it you're killing it and just to take it out last one put both bottles if you can in the one hand and let's repeat it four three two and one awesome throw them over to the other side take it over don't speed through it. You want to enjoy each and every one of these. And again, last one. Good work. Well done. Well done. Let's stretch it out. All right. So we're going to take the leg forward. Heel down. Lift up nice and straight. Reach forward. Hands up to knee. Feel that nice. Right now, if that's difficult, please go ahead and put your hand on your leg. But again, feel that stretch. And you should be right at the edge of the chair if you can. If you can't, no worries. Three, two, one. Take it up, everybody. So if you're on here, take it up. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, nice. Bring it forward with the other leg. And again, bring the hands down if you'd like. Otherwise, keep reaching forward to me. Oh, I can feel you stretching your back. I can feel your hamstring stretching. Eyes up. Keep that back nice and flat. Foot comes in. Up. Oh, now take it back just a little bit like our yoga. Open, open. Oh, nice. Now, some of you might remember I did this on Monday. I want to show you to show me the why. Spread your fingers apart. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Feel that opening your chest. Come down. Lead with the elbows. Bring that down to make the letter L. And again, you should feel that awesome stretch right across your chest. Oh, nice. And then if you remember, we went out to the T. Shoulders down. Bring your arms down, tilt, arm up, bring it across, and feel that nice stretch all the way through. Go ahead and pull here on your hand. Just don't try and crush your shoulder. Big inhale, exhale and release. You can sort of feel how this side feels good. So again, hands down, start with a nice tilt. Feel that stretch, take the arm, add it into the stretch, feel the whole shoulder. Breathe through a big inhale, exhale and release. In, sweeping forward, open your legs if you need to, come forward, grab your legs, give a big hug, Ooh, push your back up like an angry Halloween cat, exhale, inhale, palms come together, bring your thumbs to your heart, and give yourselves a big hand, well done. That was great. That was our functional movement using the chair. That's going to be me every Friday at 11. Uh, that's going to be Nathia every Wednesday. And then we still have beautiful Lily on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday to give you lots and lots of great exercises. So thank you very much for joining me. It was great seeing so many of you come out and do this class. Remember, the great thing about the YouTube is if you really liked a class or you found something particular that you really enjoy, um, go back and review that tape. I try and do a different posting every time. Hi, Michelle. Thank you so much. You're so sweet to say that. Yes, you know me. I love to explain everything. I am a bit of a, I love to make sure that people don't hurt themselves. And I guess maybe that's part of my experience of working with older adults as I met up with many people that had unfortunately injured themselves 
over the years and because it just had bad form or technique. Uh, and so I'm really a stickler to make sure if you're going to exercise, let's exercise with really, really good form. You'll notice that with all of our instructors at the YMCA. We're very particular about the form. You can hear Sherry yelling at you. You can hear Lily. You know, she's giving us all those cues. She keeps telling us to open our hearts and that's what we really want to do. Um, so uh, thank you very much for acknowledging that. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself, but it's good to know you're hearing me. Um, so finally, it is uh, Friday. It is a holiday weekend. Everybody have a wonderful holiday weekend. Unfortunately, our weather's not favoring us. That's okay. Uh, thank you, Jacqueline. Um, that's what we want to do is enjoy ourselves, continue to keep our spirits up. Please remember um, that the YMCA is first and foremost a charity. And during this whole uh, situation, we are out there on the front lines doing what we can to support the YMCA, our community. And really that's across the GTA. We're doing everything we can. Uh, if you like what we're doing and you'd like to learn more about what we're doing, please visit the YMCA uh, website. And if you feel strongly enough that you would like to help us financially, then please go ahead and visit the YMCA GTA forward slash COVID hyphen fund. And if you'd like to, you can donate there. Thank you, Jacqueline. I'm glad you like all the functional aspects as well. Basically, we're trying to get through day-to-day -day living, aren't we? So on that note, have a fantastic weekend and enjoy your day-to-day -day living actively.